My wife Lotta, she wanted a horse when we moved down to the southern part of Sweden. She had a horse when she was a teenager, but she has not been riding since then. So my question was, how much does a horse cost? And that is a tricky question. It's very easy to buy a horse on the internet. You go to a site like Craigslist in US, Block it in Sweden or a similar site in your country. You search for horses and you will get a long list of animals for sale. You sort the horses by price and then you find a horse nearby you that is not so expensive. The other option if you want to buy a horse is to go to a dedicated horse site. Here you can find both horses for sale and the equipment you need to the new horse. The horses here are more expensive but you often have a better track record and you can find information about their heritage. You can also see videos of the horse in action and see how it moves. You just bought the horse and you're craving for go horse riding. You need to get a bridle, a saddle and some saddle clothing. And then you need some equipment for yourself. At least you need a helmet, a pair of riding boots and a safety vest. You know Horse riding is more dangerous than ice hockey. After you have done riding, you need to do some grooming for your horse. And here you need some tools. You need an insurance to your precious darling. And then you need to take vaccinations at the veterinary station. And hopefully, you don't need to go there anymore. Your horse needs a place to stay, and therefore you need a stable at a nearby location so you can go there daily. A horse needs daily care and daily feeding. So the option here is you can either do it yourself, or hire someone else to do it for you. Your horse needs daily exercise and the easiest way to do it is to do some training on the paddock. But you also need access to a horse riding stable if the weather conditions are a little bit worse. If you bought a younger horse or want to participate in competitions, you need a trainer both for yourself and the horse. It's time for your first competition in horse riding and you need some special clothing to participate. The regulations say that you least need a jacket and a pair of white riding trousers. Good luck! If you need to go to the veterinary, if you want to do riding in other places, a little bit far away from your stable, or going to competitions, then you need a horse trailer. But beware, when you just bought your new trailer, you may find out that your existing car doesn't have enough horsepower for a horse. And even worse, you may need a new driving license. How much does a horse cost? It depends if you look at the purchase price or the yearly cost for a horse during the lifetime. The purchase price could be as little as 1000 euros, but the yearly cost for a horse, all inclusive, that is probably between 5 and 10,000 euros per year. 
So that is a huge difference. So buying a horse is like buying an IT system. You have a purchase price and it's often more than you estimated. And then you have a yearly cost that is far beyond the initial investment.